So when it comes to trellising, we all know that it's important. When it comes to cucumbers, it's especially important. It keeps them off the ground, helps them stay more disease free, increases airflow, and allows fruit to ripen and be a little more uniform. But there's probably some misconceptions you've heard that are actually not true, that you think are true about trellising cucumbers, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's episode. Let's go. So the first misconception, and I think one of the largest misconceptions about trellising cucumbers is that because you're going vertically, you can space them closer together. Now, when it comes to planting cucumbers closely, there is always kind of a gray area because you'll hear people say, well, I space my cucumber plants about 10 inches apart. Others will say, I space mine like two feet apart. There's always going to be a kind of a Goldilocks scenario there where Sure, you might be able to space them 10 inches apart, but what varieties, what trellising style, right? There's a lot of unknowns there. And then with like two feet, okay, yeah, like I think that's very, very conservative on your spacing. I think that is really far apart. You're probably not gonna have any issues. You probably could move them closer together, but if you wanna space them up, up two feet apart, that's fine too. But I think when it comes to trellising, we automatically assume because they're growing up, well, that means we can just crowd the heck out of them and plant them, you know, three to four inches apart. In the circumstance here, we have uh, a cattle panel trellis. Our beds are three feet apart, and I'm still only gonna plant about three plants in this, well, three groupings of plants in this area, and I'm gonna thin to one plant. So I'm basically gonna get a plant about every foot. That's as close as I really want to plant my cucumbers. Yet I see people all the time talking about how, well, you're trellising them so you can space them. If you were going to space them six inches, space them apart like, you know, or if you're, if you're going to space them 12 inches apart normally, space them six inches apart on a trellis because you're on a trellis and that's why you can do it which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because there's really no rationale other than you're growing them vertically. They're still going to be, if you're growing them along the ground, imagine how big that plant gets. They're still going to be that large just on a trellis. So if you half the spacing or even more than that, they're gonna be way too crowded. You're gonna have a lot of restricted airflow. You're going to have things like disease. You're going to have things like powdery mildew. You're going to really struggle with, uh, you know, adequately feeding and, and nourishing that many plants, you're gonna run into problems. So I'm gonna get these planted out here. We're gonna do three groupings of plants every 12 inches apart. When they grow up, we are going to thin them to just two plants, or just, sorry, one plant. Uh, so we're gonna have three plants total here. So, um, so two seeds per hole, that way we don't have to worry about nothing germinating. Once something does germinate, you could put even three or four seeds per hole. I just know that my viability is gonna be really good. Once we have germination, I'm gonna thin to the healthiest plant. We're gonna have three plants growing up and that's as many as I want here. All right, the second most common misconception with trellising cucumbers is that they will simply trellis themselves. If you put them on a cattle panel trellis like this or really any trellis at all, what you will find is that they will try to climb but then they, as hard as they might try, they will fail every single time. They may trellis a slight distance, maybe 11 or 12 inches or so. Once you get past maybe a foot and a half at most, the weight of the plant is going to cause it to fall. It will end up back on the ground. And that's because cucumbers, yes, are a vine, but they are not a very strong vine like say a pea is, right? A pea or a pole bean has really strong tendrils that occur really closely together. And those act as anchors to anchor themselves to whatever they are climbing. Cucumbers, on the other hand, have really kind of almost been, that's been kind of phased out. They did at one point have tendrils that were probably strong enough to climb because that's how they would grow naturally. But because we've grown them on the ground for so long and we've really domesticated them to be a non-climbing plant, over time, that ability to really climb, I feel has been kind of lost. It's been kind of just bred out. Those traits just really are not prioritized. And you do see that very frequently with even, side note, things like garlic. Garlic used to give actual garlic seeds. However, because we've only grown the bulbs and the garlic bulbs are kind of the thing that we prioritize, we replant to have consistent production, the, over time, the garlic has actually bred sterile. There's no seeds that actually occur from the garlic. 
quick fun fact for you guys. So the very same thing happens with cucumbers. And so it's a common misconception that you can just plant your cucumbers and that they will just continue to grow up a beautiful trellis. I've had lots of people write in that say, well, I can't get my cucumbers to make like that beautiful cucumber tunnel that you see online and all those beautiful Pinterest photos or Instagram photos. And that's because there was a lot of training involved and that's what you need to do. It's not that they can't make that happen because those things are very real. In fact, we had that uh, about a year or two ago with our cantaloupe. We had beautiful cantaloupes all the way up to here. Cantaloupes are very much the same thing as cucumbers. Um, they're both melons, in fact. Another fun fact for you guys. Um, but, uh, but they do not climb naturally like that. What you'll find is that the tip will grow and as soon as it leaves that trellis, it does not find a surface and stick to it. It won't stick to the edge of the surface and say, all right, this is what I'm going to climb up. What will happen is it will stick its little growth tip through and it'll say, well, all right, I'm just gonna keep growing. And then what happens, it gets long and then it falls down. And that's what a lot of gardeners get frustrated with is they say, I cannot get my cucumbers to climb. And I simply say, are you training them? And that's all it takes to get your cucumbers to grow up a trellis successfully is by training them. How do you do that? I'll show you how. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this hose as an example because I think this hose actually serves as a wonderful example for what a cucumber plant would do. So because we don't have any cucumber plants that are growing up really tall, check this out. You're gonna have a cucumber plant that like, look, okay, the cucumber plant is supporting itself. There's no problem here, but you go here, now you got some problems. So what, what do you do if you have support? Well, the thing is the support, right, only lasts so far and the head is so heavy that as you go up what you're going to do is you're going to want to do what's called weaving and it's really simple all you're doing is you're basically using this now as support but as the plant grows you go in one side gets a little long starts to kind of droop put it in the other side right and now gets taller it's gonna start growing out this way. Well, if it goes out too far, well, you got, you got floppage. And that's not good, because it's gonna snap and get all dangly. So you take it, weave back the other way, right? Starts to get too tall. Well, it doesn't support itself anymore. You got problems. Take it, weave it back in. And now look at this. This is supporting itself along the trellis. It's not really using the tendrils as much as it is using the stem in between. Now you can do this with things like clips. You can clip it to a string. That works out great in things like greenhouses. You can weave it in between the cattle panel like I did here. There's lots of ways for you to trellis a cucumber and to get it up off the ground. But just by assuming it's gonna naturally trellis is simply a pipe dream. It's never gonna happen. And I've never seen an instance where it just climbs free will just up you know, a five, six foot trellis. It's not going to happen. And so if, uh, if it's happened for you, send me pictures. I'd love to see it. I've never seen it in my entire life. And, uh, and so this is a wonderful example of kind of how to do that. This is using the weaving method. But again, you can also use it just with clips. We have these little things called C clips. If you're using string, it just clips around the string and then underneath a leaf node to let the weight of the plant support against the clip just as it would along these metal rungs here. So that's a second misconception. And I honestly think it's maybe tied for first for the most common misconception, but um, definitely a popular one nonetheless. All right, and the third and final misconception around trellising your cucumbers is that if you trellis them, they'll be less prone to things like cucumber beetles. Now, I simply have to say that that is outright false. I've seen it spread around the internet like wildfire lately, and they simply say, well, if you trellis your cucumbers up, They'll be off the ground, away from the soil, and they're gonna be less prone to getting things like cucumber beetles. That's just simply not true under any circumstances. In fact, it's kind of the opposite, which is the only downside with trellising your cucumbers. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of benefits, and I would highly encourage you to still trellis your cucumbers. However, the one downside is that you actually have a higher chance of getting cucumber beetles, and here's why. So the reason why is because of airflow. Now, the reason why we trellis is for airflow, but the reason why cucumber beetles are attracted to the cucumbers 
is because of airflow. And the reason why is because when we have airflow, it helps to dry out the plants. It keeps them less prone to things like powdery mildew. It actually will lead to a healthier plant overall. And it will also, like I said in the beginning, give you more uniform fruits. It'll help the fruits to ripen. It'll actually attract pollinators because they're gonna be able to see the blossoms better. And those big yellow blossoms are kind of a calling card for things like butterflies and bees and whatnot. And so it's really important to trellis your cucumbers, but when you trellis them, they're gonna be getting that airflow. And what does that airflow do? It spreads the pheromones. Now pheromones are created by a chemical called cucurbitaceae. It's actually what makes cucumbers bitter. It's found in the skin of cucumbers, but also the flowers of cucumbers. And when the wind blows through the air, it carries with it the scent of the cucurbitaceae, that basic, the basic uh, pheromone. It's almost like you wearing cologne. If you wear cologne and you just are in a room with no airflow, have someone stand 30 feet away from you and see if they can smell you. But then do this. Put the same amount of cologne on and put a fan behind you blowing towards them. What they're gonna find is that those cologne molecules, that, that scent is going to follow with the wind. It's gonna blow the scent further and so you're actually gonna get further uh, kind of scent radius with your plants. When they're on the ground, the wind can't really capture as much of those pheromones and because there's less wind closer to the ground, they're, you know, they're less, uh, they're, they're more aerodynamic, right? The wind kind of just goes over the top of them rather than creating a giant wind screen that then the wind hits it and blows the pheromones. You're actually way more likely to get cucumber, uh, cucumber beetles when you're trellising than when you're not. But like I said, the benefits of trellising far outweigh the cons. So don't not do it, but just have those things in your back pocket that if you do see cucumber beetles, there's ways to prevent them. And we actually have lots of ways on how to prevent them. One of which we just did a video on about intercropping. And I would highly recommend planting something like dill or something like basil next to your cucumber plants because that scent that those plants give off is what can help you combat uh, the cucumber beetles. That scent will help to mask the scent of the cucumbers. The pheromone gets kind of mixed up and muddied up so they can't smell it as easily and therefore they can't find the host as, uh, as easily. If you're interested in watching that video, I'll try to remember to post a link in the comments box down or the description box down below because it's a really handy video that talks all about intercropping and that's one thing you can do to kind of offset the negatives of trellising your cucumbers. But that's all I've got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. We have so many more videos coming out and YouTube loves to see your engagement. We've noticed a massive increase in viewership, not only in your viewership, but also people that have never found this channel before. And this, people are finding this channel more than ever because of engagement. So I wanna thank you guys because it doesn't cost you a, a single penny to throw a like button up there or to hit the like button because that engagement shows YouTube this is worth promoting and this is worth showing to other people. So thank you so much for helping spread this video around like, uh, like wildflower seeds. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow bigger. Take care, bye.